really serious, okay? Okay? Bum covers you know what, up. Wait, what time is it? Time to get really serious. <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't, he doesn't know that he's about to lead this whole workout. Mm. Now nah, he knows. Ugh. We're warm. Oh. I'm on candy can. Oh. oh. Is that how they do it? Is that how you do it? Lord have mercy. <laughs> I mean, the guns are out. It's uh, arm day. He's got all the studs at. Studies. Uh, you know, we're and warm. Look at this, though. Look at the. See the crop? 1992. This is golden. 92. Before I was even born. You don't even know about that. That's what he was gonna say. You don't even you don't even know about that. But somehow you do. But I do. I've seen all the I'm movies. Sure Not all the movies. Most of the movies. Now this exercise right here is really for the triceps, but Mike calls this the elbow warmers. Okay? He's warming up the elbows. Someone is on fire today. Now what do I use this exercise for? Today I'm going to use them to warm up the elbows. Because we're on Mike's regimen. Okay, so I'm going to start with, with 20s. Because I, I just got here. I'm always late apparently. Okay, sounds good. Let's do it. Warm up elbows. You hear that? You hear what he just said? <laughs> Are you gonna warm up the elbows? Jeff, you got the uh, mic? Yep. We are, we are good. Good to go. Uh. Uh. Sergio is in the gym. We got greatness. Joseph. Getting a little tricep extension. Just a couple elbow warmers. We have my boy Doc in here. I was 35. And then um, it's nice. The Griff. So the whole team is here. The Avengers are assembling. I like that though. I don't know what that means, but assembling. Just want to get big. I'm following your lead today. I really? led last time. I like you leading though. I like you leading because I know that you got the old school knowledge and the new school knowledge. So if there's okay. something this old dog could learn. Well, should we, should we go uh, in the way of the supersets or, or should we just go one, one thing, one thing? I think buys, we tries, go buy, guys. try, buy, try, um, but not a superset where we're fatiguing. Or, what is your take on fatiguing? I like fatiguing. You do? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, don't, I, I mean... I'm the complete opposite. You don't like fatiguing? Not even a little. Okay. I like, because, I don't know, I think I just have a lot of endurance, and I recover pretty quickly during, like, between sets. we have between this talk? Because we can, we can play back last time what happened when he said this. What and happened? 20 minutes later, you were completely destroyed by going slower. That's right, that's right. Oh, okay, okay, yes. See? You're right, you're right. Yes. So we're gonna go slow So you've been away from me for a while, steady. so you free, already kind of- I already forgot. Forgot that. So this is why we're, we're reeling it back in. Mike's gonna reel it back in. So we're gonna go slow and steady today. I understand, I do understand your age and the desire to outwork right. everybody. I fully, I live that, I live that. You know. And so I fully understand, and I don't want to, because I know everybody out there will go, oh, that's not the way to do it, taper it. And it's like, well, the better part of that, let's say your body doesn't grow as much as others because you go to that level, but your mind grows tenfold. Mm. When everybody else just goes, I want to stay in the books, I want to stay just perfect, this rep range, this, train to 90%, 80%, and then get out and recover. Where you go, forget this, I'm gonna go off. Leash off, I'm gonna go ballistic. There's a mental approach to that that I think all the greatest ever, they all had that. Right. And that separates the guy that's trying to stay in the textbook. Oh Does yeah. It, do you understand that? Absolutely, yeah. So, and I think this is gonna be, uh, this is perfect because I needed a, a switch up. I've been going, you know. Mental. 
yes. leash off. Yes, exactly. So today I want, I'm really looking forward to this, you know, slow, steady, really controlled and focused. So Jeez. then I will lead and then I'll explain that the fact that we're going to do this is because at times someone needs to protect you from you. Yeah. If I let you come in here, you're going to destroy everybody, out train everybody, four hour workouts. You can do that. Mm. You're young, you're vibrant, you're, you're ready to go and you got that hunger. I'm going to try to show that this is just a stimulant. The growing and everything else is later. We're back in. We're back in. Give me something here. This is good. Give me eight reps. Two sets to our one set. You're going two sets to my one set. Two sets to his one set. I don't want to govern him too much and slow him down beyond to where it's like no fun for him because it's still got to be fun. Um, and for me, I'm off season, so I'm going to do half the work, um, but intelligently still do a, a monster set. And that's all I want. I want the monster set where he probably wants four monster sets per exercise. He knows. Do you understand why there. that would be? That you know? No, no. Oh. Why would that be? That I'm doing two monster sets? That you're doing like four compared to my one. Because what I'm used to is going for those, those extra sets, those extra reps. So you're, you're saying I that think it, mentally, unless you get four sets, you won't feel like you did the work. So I want to appease that. Okay. And then at the same time, I'm going to appease my workout where I don't need as much work right now because I'm focusing more on calorie intake right. and complete recovery without overtraining. And so I'm fine at this stage. This is kind of like my off season where you're in season. Summer so, yeah. City boy, oh wait. wait. And the, but the thing is we can still work out together. Yeah. Totally. Which I think they go, well, unless you're doing the same thing, no go. Gimme. Get in Gimme. There. All right. Josh, you did 45s, you? Huh? You did 45s, you? I did the 40s. 45s are but good. I'll do 45. Come on, stud. Here we go. Nice. Come on. Hit it, hit it, hit it. It's really a classic move. It's a better move. Go last. Just school everybody. Yeah. That Baby, was don't bad, hurt me. It was, it's a veteran move. Oh no. I'm nervous for him. Woo. Lord have mercy. Good set, kid. Nice. Holy shnikes. Jeffrey. It's all the elbow. Beautiful. Four. Yep. Five. Come on, come on, come on. Six. Go. Seven. Eight. Keep going, don't stop on this shit. I got this. Nine. Ten. Come on, kid. Come on. Eleven. One more. I'm gonna make this clear that you're gonna be seeing this now, here, and Joseph is bringing the trend back. T-R-E-N. I think it's, it's up to me to bring it back. 
It's a responsibility I didn't want. This is 90s. Did yeah. you not do that with the baseball? But it's the responsibility everyone no, needed. I, no, because I wore 96. That's true. That's true. That That's true. He's got, he got me there. 96, kid. What are you? Are you 90? 97. <laughs> hey, respect your elders, man. Come on. Hey. Thanks, Captain. Appreciate it. Unbelievable. It's a real pleasure. It's a pleasure. Real pleasure. Real pleasure. What's our next step? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the calves were there. Yes, I got a I herd of them. Yep. Look at that. They're coming in. They're getting tight. So, what is the calf workout? Standing. We like the standing, that, that machine over there. I've been, okay, because I do the donkey, the donkey calf raises, and they're great, but. Too easy? It's, yeah. I don't know what it is, I, and I try holding, I try, I try stretching, something about it. Yeah, I like the standing as well. I like the standing and the, uh, the, old, the older seated, uh, the seated one in the third room. You know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, about. oh yeah. That's the best one. What, Show me what, what you like what about this, here? your favorites. What are these? Extension, behind the head. Too light? Come on, stud. See, if you're in shape, you can do a crop top. I can't do a crop yet. If you're in shape and you're stylish. You know what I mean? Come on, stud. You should. Oh my gosh. Captain, my captain. Oh, that was a wave right at you, kid. Is that yours? That's yours, huh? So what do we have here? We had elbow warmers there. Little war elbow warmers into <laughs> tricep extension, dumbbell, and then behind the head, tricep extension. I've seen Joseph do this a lot. Free weight, not the machine. And uh, I loved this back in the 90s, 80s and 90s. So I want to make sure that we got that in today. What about if you like? I like the uh, direct power that you have to have on the contraction compared to a machine. There's little details on a machine compared to free weight. You're holding it, you're controlling it. You're not just dropping it and pushing it up. You're moving through it. And so I kind of like that. And I miss that part when you're just doing machines. Joseph, what do you like about this? Well, really, I just started implementing this into my arm routine. Really? As of recently. So I'm so stalking your page that uh, I thought you'd been doing it forever. Because you you look like an old pro doing it. I'm all, you know, it's all about the form. You gotta get the form for, the, the mind-muscle connection first, and then you can go heavier. Get the more reps. You know how it is. You know how it goes. But this, I just noticed. Uh, I trained with Joshua Blaze. I don't know if you know Joshua. Anyways, Diesel, Diesel. young Diesel. He has some of the biggest triceps in the game. I don't know about in the game, but he has some of the biz biggest triceps I've seen. Uh, and so he's been doing this. So I said, well, I should try it. And so how I think about it is whatever my training partner's best muscle is, uh, I get their favorite workout for that muscle and I try it out. I see how it works for me. And if it works really well and I feel it really well, add it, add it to the playlist. So this just added to the playlist. Get this big dog. And I love it. Josh, are you good? Is there any secondary understanding to that statement about taking somebody's great body part and then trying their workout? Uh, secondary understanding. Now let me let me try to. Is there any common sense? <clears throat> 
that you got to tell people. You got some great calves. Is there any genetic gift to that and also hard work? So that that is that is a a thing is, you know, maybe this person just has good genetics for that particular body part. But if they're able to use the genetics and grow it to the maximum, why not implement those same exercises that they're using? It's unfortunate we have to say that, but the reason I wanted you to say that is because of the fact that I think they're going to go, yeah, that's true. Um, I can do uh, a Flex Wheeler's arm workout and I'll get Flex Wheeler's arms. Okay. N no. But it's a good attempt to try to do something to see if that workout works for you, but you're not going to get his arms. Yeah. And it's like, I but I think that's lost on a lot of these people. It's like, I trained with Tom Plaz. He was the first training partner I got to California. And I trained with him for years. I didn't get his legs. Right. We did the same workout for three years. But it was the cool intensity to try it and do it and then find out what works for me after the fact. Yeah, you always, you always give and take what's, what really you feel the best doing. You, by feel the best, I don't mean what feels good. I, I just mean what gives you the best pump, what you see you get the, the best growth from, um, and where you get the, the most progress. That's what I mean by feel the best. Do you ever get those questions like I did? The reason why is because you're such a youngster. And, and I think when you're young like I did, I was like, I can do Tom's leg workout and get his legs. And I was like, come on, kid. Common sense. Genetic gifts are genetic gifts. But still attempt it. Still do what you're doing. Still try. Because there's something he's doing to connect to that muscle. Yeah. To try to, if you know, I don't, I don't really get that, that question too much, but you know, it's, it's more of just the statement of like, um, oh, you got, the, you got the chest genetics and you know, you got the chest genetics. <laughs> you were born with that. <laughs> you were born with the chest genetics. Get in there. And, you see these uh, tricep no, no real question. But people want to know what I do for the chest. And for me, chest is very uh, fundamental move. I love fundamental movements. Because I think they're the best. Come on, stud. I consider this a fundamental movement. I'm with you on that. What is this, the hundo? The hundies. Hundies. Come on, stud. Two. It's three. Four. Five. Here we go. Six. Seven. Eight. Go. Nine. Give me one more. Ten. Hold it. I got it. I got it. Let go. All right. Save yourself. We don't need a Griff, you got <clears throat> Two. Four. There we go. There we go. Easy. Off season. This is peak off season performance. Cool. Is that going to be us? Nice you. Mm. Do it, do it. <laughs> High five. Hey, what's up? Yeah, ow. It's too strong. Give me a hug. Flex. Let's see. The, let's see the front double bicep. Yeah. Yes. Let's see the most muscular. Ooh. He just gave us the res. 
the I think with most exercises, with most exercises, I'm at this stage, can put it into where I want it to work. Long head, short head, around the elbow. And so for this one, I do the lower inside head um, and rotate the elbows yeah. out to really focus on that point. Um, again, if I can strengthen that, then I can continue to lift for the next 20, 30 years. And that's relative to what I like because the side effect of working something that minute is everything else is already overfired. Oh yeah. See what I'm saying? It's like, I see what you're saying. Throw me that arm, throw me that arm. Flip it inside, the other way. See that, see that meat right here? That's connected all the way down. But this is where I'm focusing to finish out that tricep. Woo! Look at that. Oh, you're a genetic gift. Come on now. All right, uh, push downs? Push downs. You ready? Let's do it. You like that idea? I like or it. Or do you have something else in mind? No, let's do push downs. You ever do kickbacks? Like Too easy for you, right? No, we did kickbacks a while ago. See, he's on it. I can't get tough. this kid. I can't Those get him, tough. he's always on. Um, let's go push downs right here. Reverse. <laughs> 